Good morning, Facebook. I'm Erica Fernandez with CCIC Communications, and welcome to Live in the Classroom. We are outside the classroom today in front of Clearbrook High School, where the art students are working on a special project in front of the school. I'm joined now with Eileen Kelly. She's one of the art teachers here at Clearbrook. So first of all, what are you guys doing out here? We are making public art as a group, which is one of our teaks that we have to hit. We've got to do collaborative art. so. What a lovely way to do that, um, coming outside, sitting in this beautiful slash humid weather and making art together. Um, it's not something we often get to do, so it's really nice to come together as a group and not just sit at a single desk all alone and get to work together. So how did you guys come up with the concept of this? Because this is a pastel chalk art project. How did you come up with this idea? So several students were involved in the creating of this. We've had five classes working on this entire project and the first step was to create the idea so we had a lot of students doing some drawings and then we voted on that idea and then we took that idea and we made every student create a drawing with that idea which was the astronaut the butterfly and the fish and then we voted again on that um, after we voted on that we did our color version of it so every student colored it kind of like a coloring page and then we ended up with this lovely drawing. And we're going to get some shots of the drawing a little bit later so we can see what it actually looks like and the progress. You guys started working on this last week? We've been working on this since before spring break. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. But the actual drawing, the, the lines. drawing portion, yes. We started okay. last Wednesday. We mm -hmm. had some testing happening, so it's been a little bit slow moving, but gotcha. I'm happy with where we're at and we're excited to see it finish. All right. Well, let's go check out some of the progress. We're going to go talk with some students. Awesome. So we're going to walk over here. Sophia is working on part of the project, so we're going to take a look. Hey, Sophia, can you join me real quick? Hi. Um, okay, so you're working on what part of the project right now? So currently I'm working on the background. So like you see how in the back there's all these pinks. So this is the very back of the piece. So it's gonna be like, so there's gonna be like a bunch of that type are gonna be laid out all over. So can you hold that up? We wanna get a shot of what that's going to look like. So can you tell me, so you're working on the bottom part right here. Yeah. Um, and what are your thoughts about behind this project, the piece that you guys decided on? Honestly, I really like this piece now. Okay, so when I when we first started voting, I wasn't so sure because we had so many like different designs of like very much different ideas. So we had like a bunch of, so we had an entire idea sheet that all of our classes made up together. So there was like astronaut, there was like koi fish, there was like ponds, like 3D mountains, caverns, and so the one that we the one this is not the original concept. It was an entirely different piece, and then after that we used it as like an idea and people started to draw like their version of like an astronaut okay. with the um, fish and the, and the monarch. Mm. And so when that was done, we all, we all like had it printed out and we all did a different color of it. And, I, and like funny, funny enough, the person who won for the coloring was the same person who made up the concept of the astronauts. Okay. And Very so cool. that's when we all got started on like getting it done, like, print, like getting the background done. With the giant pink paint. Yeah. I feel like a great territory. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, very cool. Okay, well, we're going to um, hop around. We'll let you get back to work. So we have to kind of navigate around the dark pink and the darker colors. So we're going to hop through the middle and we're going to talk to August over here. Try not to step on anything. August, can we talk to you real quick? Go ahead and hey. Um, so this is August, and he's one of the students. So what are you working on right now? So I'm just working on like this top part of the astronaut over here below the um, helmet. And so how do you decide? How does each student decide what they're going to work on on the day of? Well, they're just going to decide on like whatever needs to be worked on, honestly. And then like we just pick a square mm -hmm. or like an area and then try to fill in like the lightest color. Yeah. Yeah. So um, we were talking a little bit about the inspiration behind mm -hmm. the project. Now this is a chalk project. Yeah. So what are your thoughts about that? The rain could wash it away at any moment. Well, actually, it could be a good thing for the rain because the rain ends up actually setting in the chalk. Okay. Which just keeps it as like a sort of like a base coat. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. Gotcha. Yeah. And so what's your favorite part about this project so far? I think it's just being able to collaborate with everyone like from different classes and just, you know, like different um, periods. Awesome. Cool. All right. We'll let you get back to work. We're going to talk with uh, Kirsten over here. Hey, Kirsten. Hi there. We're going to come down to you. I understand that you um, were part of the team that d drew out the lines for the project, right? Yeah. 
Okay, so what's what was the hardest part about that? Um, probably the astronaut. Okay. Because I don't see an astronaut every day, <laughs> so I had to kind of look at references and merge a couple of them to create him. But my koi fish were actually a part of my original idea that weren't associated with the mm -hmm. astronaut, and I like to incorporate that into the astronaut. So that was kind of nice. What's your favorite part about this project so far? my fish. The fish? Yeah. yeah, because it was your design? Yeah. yeah. Very cool. And so I understand that several different um, art classes are involved in this. Mm -hmm. um, so what's it like to collaborate with all these different students? It's interesting. It's it's hard to, like, like he was saying in the beginning of class, like, people have different styles of coloring and stuff, and it can make it really, like, difficult to merge them and stuff together. Like, I've been working on this fish this morning and I was doing all the white pieces but there was already orange here mm -hmm. and the orange was colored a lot different than I color mm -hmm. so I've been trying to like work that into how I do it okay very cool all right and so you've been working on this for about a week now do you know when it might be completed is it just whenever y'all are done I guess yeah <laughs> sure. it's honestly going a lot faster than I thought it would yeah but very cool know. all right well thanks so much for talking with us so um, we're gonna get some more footage of the projects and see some students at work. Okay, so what are your thoughts about the fact that the rain could wash it away at any moment because it is chalk? Uh, it's a good thing, honestly. So this particular medium is made to be temporary. So a little bit of rain will actually help set it in, mm -hmm. you know, kind of like a, a fixative, if you will. Mm -hmm. uh, but a lot of rain will start to wash it away. We did lay down a temper base, so it'll last a little bit longer. But that's part of the magic, you know, you see it and then it's gone, it's a little bit fleeting, so yeah. it's it's kind of magical. Yeah, and so, um, I mean, as a teacher, to see all these different students working on it, I mean, what are your thoughts and how do you feel about that? It makes me so giddy. Yeah. I just love seeing everybody out here working on it because, like I said earlier, so often art is just this lonesome thing that you do, yeah. but it's just so lovely getting together with a large group of people and making art. It feels like this community and it just makes it makes me feel like there's so much love around. Yeah. That sounds cheesy, but <laughs> it's, true. it's so true. Yeah. And I love these students and they make me super proud. So I'm just happy that you guys are even doing this to showcase them because they deserve it. Yeah, they're a talented group of kids, that's for sure. So how do they decide what colors they're gonna start with? Do they just say, hey, I'm gonna go with the pinks today. I'm gonna go with the oranges. That is a great question. Um, so part of it is decided for them. Okay. We have a color plan that we've laid out so that we don't have, you know, my. My lovely painting students, they're trained to, to see these colors in different ways. Mm -hmm. So some students might put a little bit of a green and a brown or a red and a brown, but mm -hmm. to prevent that, we have decided on the colors for these so that it creates more of a unified look. Um, but day after day, you know, they ultimately decide where they start. Okay. And um, some students, I understand, were selected to kind of make the lines of the of the design, is that correct? So we all worked on the lines. Oh, okay, everybody? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, we've worked on the lines the last couple of days and everybody was involved in that. You know, there are some students who are a little bit shy about working on it, so <laughs> sure. we're like, you know, the background is just as important, okay. so let's go ahead and work on the background. So when we came out here, everybody started working on the background and okay. the fish, and nobody yeah. wanted to touch the astronaut. So. <laughs> The astronaut is slowly but surely coming along, but he'll get there and he'll be awesome. What do you think is the hardest part for these students as they're tackling this project? Because I assume none of these kids have done something like this before. Uh, yeah, I would say maybe one or two of them have, okay. but it's not super common to see people doing sidewalk chalk. So I would say the hardest part is you guys right now. <laughs> <laughs> Being here. <laughs> yeah, you know, our kids, they're very shy and yeah. they don't like to show off their work and, and you know, it's difficult to show off your work, sure. especially when you're starting out. So there's lots of nerves that go into that. So the hardest part is just being vulnerable.
people. Mm -hmm. Are there any, aside from rain, um, are you guys dealing with any other elements that might be affecting, like the wind right now? Is that affecting the The wind's the not art? too bad. Um, I would say personally, I am okay with wind because if you have too much of that chalk that's being leaned down, it will actually blow that away. Okay. You can use that in the piece, but if you have just an insane amount of shock it's it's a little bit helpful yeah now, other than that i don't know that there's really much elemental okay. influence yeah. happening here do you know if there's a set um deadline or time that you guys are trying to have this done by you know <laughs> we tried to have it done today but, <laughs> okay okay <laughs> but uh the first day that we started we decided we were going to do this temper paint as a base and then we kept running out of it mm. because it's a 20 foot by 25 foot yeah. square so um, we had a couple of hiccups at the start, um, but I'm expecting that we'll be done within the week for sure. Okay. Yeah, but the, the hiccups are part of the, of the process. It's right? a learning process for, sure. for myself, Mr. Samp, and the students, yeah. and it's always good to learn. So, What's your favorite part about this whole process from design to the finish? Getting to come outside and make art with so many people. Yeah, yeah that's it's awesome. just special. Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and uh, wrap this up. So, okay. Um, we're going to go ahead and take another look at what the final product will look like.